Uh, one more question is that uh, well, Richard yesterday talked to us about his directing experience uh, this season and how your advice has been valuable as he had to direct himself. So I was wondering if you could share more about your experience doing that. It's, uh, I don't know if he's, he talked about this, but um, he and I sat down and he, he wanted to kind of yeah. talk about talk to me about that experience because I'm, I'm the only one that's experienced that uh, from the show. Uh, well, no, that's not true. Misha, Misha did one. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's difficult and I, I found it very difficult having to um, kind of switch from that mind frame to uh, acting and, and it helped me, it actually made me realize that uh, <clears throat> when I'm when I'm just playing Dean, uh, my mind is very clear, and I don't. Um, I'm not thinking about things. I'm not analyzing things. I'm not. Um, it's just I'm, I'm. I'm a little bit more open for uh, the magic to happen, so to speak. Um, when you're a director, you can't do that. You have to have. I mean, you, you you need to be able to be to to see when moments are there and, and be able to capture them. Um, but you've got to have a plan. And so, um, directing is, is, you know, you're constantly thinking, okay, uh, I, I need this shot, because you're kind of editing the movie in your mind. So you're like, okay, I've got this shot, I need this shot, uh, oh, I can actually move from this camera angle into this camera angle, that'll save me some time. So you're constantly thinking, like the whole day. And then when they're like, okay, Jensen, we need you on set, you're in this scene. And I'm like, what? I. Oh my gosh! I don't know my lines, you know, and so it was um, it was difficult, and it took a little bit of um, it took a few more takes when I would step from the director's seat in front of the camera and start to play Dean. It would take a couple of takes for me to kind of get into Dean's character and get that you know that flow going. Um, so I, I kind of warned Richard about that that it's there is for me it was two totally different. Um, you know, ways of thinking, and uh, and it took some it took some getting used to. It was it was hard. It was difficult. Um, I think he did a fantastic job, though, and I, I told him that. Um, and then that's the last time I'll ever compliment him again. So. <laughs> well, you did a fantastic job doing that too, and you've done it multiple times. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Another one. Can you give me one more line of direction? <laughs> Listen, it's going to be until next season. I just need one more piece of Richard Spade direction. I have it every day. <laughs> that it's... I mean, Richard's talked to you guys about his experience, I assume, right? Not a lot? Let me, let me paint a very small picture of, of, of Richard's experience. Or my experience watching Richard direct. It was... Uh, it, it, I, I've always known Richard as... As Richard. Buddy Richard, fellow actor Richard, funny guy, uh, smart, you know, short comedy, <laughs> short, um, and I, I went, I went, it went from me knowing him that way and, and always relating to him that way to seeing him go into dad mode. And then I'm like, oh, this is why his sons are so well behaved. Because he was... He was like hurting us like kittens. He's like, Jared, Jared, I need you to come over here right now. <laughs> Jensen, hey, let's go. Come on. I don't have time for this. Let's go. We gotta go. I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, I will say this. Uh, we haven't teased him about this yet. We haven't announced this publicly. But Richard has a funny directing quirk. Um, so Richard, we've known him for many years, six years, seven years, eight years, whatever it was, season four we met, season three we better met. Part of season decade. three, better part of a decade we've, we've known this guy. I stopped trains with him for God's sake. <laughs> and, and, we get on, and we get on set and it's like, Richard, buddy, dude, congrats, it's, it's good to have you here. He's like, cool, Sam, you get over there, Dean, Dean, you're over here. We're like, is he calling us by our character names? <laughs> so we called him out on it, didn't stop. Didn't stop, didn't stop. He didn't know. So every time we do it, he'd be like, okay, so Sam, you go right there. I was like, okay, director, and what else do I do? Mr. Director, sir, Mr. Director. He's like, ah, ah, ah. Like, Jared, Jared. Okay, Jared, you go there, and then Dean comes over, and 
okay, Mr. Director. Like, okay, Jensen, no, no, no. So he was getting so, he was so into it, he didn't realize that he was calling his part character. <laughs> Anyways, he's not, he's, it's not all there. There's, uh, there's, 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 plenty, there's plenty more material to talk about, I think. Uh, but uh, let's, say, let's suffice it to say that there were, there were some very funny moments that happened recently uh, during his episode, which I, I'll let him tell you about. Um, let's you'll just say, and you'll see it. Uh, but there was, a, luckily we got him to, to he got a, a funny script. So the, the script lends itself for uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of cutting up. And uh, and cutting up we did, and there was there was times when we couldn't finish a tape because of, like laughing and tears, and um, so we we try to have a very very good time on on our set, and I think it's one of the reasons why we lasted this long and haven't killed each other. Um, but I will say that sometimes the having a good time and keeping it light on set is to the detriment of the director, who is just pulling his hair out because he's losing time while we're over there like telling some story for the fifth time because he gets a good laugh. And he's just like, I'm gonna lose my mind. We're like half an hour behind and he's joking and he can't get his lines right. He's not doing... Meanwhile, we're having a great time. Because guess what? We know we're gonna have a job next week. <laughs> Since you've had Misha, Jensen, and uh, Rich direct you, uh, what were some of the differences between all three of them? And just sort of like <laughs> <laughs> different quarks and stuff. Uh, he's, all, he's, he's right next to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Go ahead. That's a good question. Pretend I'm not here. So. so <laughs> Jensen, I, I, I know the best, I've known the longest, and he and I have such a rapport while acting with each other that I think it was real. I, he knows how I work more than anybody, and vice versa, and so I, he knew exactly what to say to me, when, how, um, you know, by the time he had directed me, we had acted, when was your first episode? Six? So we had already done 100 hours of television together. Um, Misha, I was... Let's keep in mind, we... We kind of direct each other on a yeah. daily basis anyway. If, if I'm in a scene with him and he's doing something, I'm like, you know what? Try that line a different way. Or, or hit this line a little bit more. Or this joke. And he'll do the same for me. He'll be like, he'll be like it was funnier you said it. It's funnier than the, the first time you said it. Uh, do it that way again. I'll be like, got it. Okay. So we're constantly watching each other's back as it is. And it wasn't much different than that for me when I was directing him. Yeah. I was just kind of doing what I normally do. And all the directing, all the the nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts <laughs> of directing that he did without me there was without, you know, when he's casting or building the sets or scouting locations or picking which prop to use or which, which way to shoot it, that didn't involve me anyways. My involvement was kind of between action and cut and he and I already had that relationship for five years strong. Um, so, and there's also not a lot of directing, he and I, from any director that comes on. I mean, there's not, they pretty much let us do what we do, you know. Um, they don't try to fix it if it's not broke, you know. Right, I mean, they might throw, you know, somebody might throw a suggestion out of like, hey, uh, you know, what if you, what if you went over across, what if you crossed the room and, and picked up a, a prop and did, it, did the line over there? Okay, yeah, let me make that, let me figure out a way to make that work, but mostly they know that when we show up, we're going to have our characters down, our lines down, and pretty much have the idea of what we want to do, and they just kind of let us do our thing. So and they trust, I think, and I think directors talk to other, you know, if you haven't directed Supernatural and you're about to, you'll call somebody who's directed Supernatural. I think the understood, I think the people who direct us understand that Jared and Jensen care about Sam and Dean and Supernatural more than they ever possibly could, and so they know that we're not trying to 
glorify ourselves or sink a ship. They know we, we've put in the work that we need to do. We've done our routine the way we need to do it. We're going to show up on time. We're going to hit our marks. We're going to know our lines. We're going to have done whatever we need to do to get ourselves ready to be Sam and Dean Winchester. Um, so they trust us, and that's awesome. Uh, with Misha, I spent most of my time trying to figure out how to mess with him. So it was difficult to pay attention to his direction because I was trying to like steal his keys, break his uh, director's chair, um, uh, mess up his script, uh, hit him in the face with a pie and break his nose. Um, it was a lot. So I had an agenda during his episode. Well, and his directing experience was less directing, more survival. <laughs> so um, he, there wasn't much time for directing. Yeah. And he was more worried about whether or not his house was on fire. <laughs> and then Spate, I believe the first episode he directed, he wasn't in whatsoever. And so that was, that was a unique experience as well. Well, well, the Misha episode was also weird because I don't think Jensen and I even had a scene together. Or maybe we had one or two scenes together. So it wasn't a classic Supernatural episode, um, which made it different altogether. And then with Spate, he came on as a director, not as a director-actor. So he was more... You know, because Jensen's behind the camera when he came to direct, and then he'd have to come be on the scene with us. And then, so, Spate was more a classic style director, had done his homework, was committed to it. But the funny thing is, is that with Spate, when he came to direct, I'd already known him for 10 years or something. And you can hear him from the video village, which is where the directors sit with their um, headphones on, and they're watching the episode, and there'd be a scene, he'd be like, hey, uh, Sam, do that line again! And I'd be like, Sam? Sam? Richard, like, we've stopped trains together in Europe. Call me Jerry. Like, my name is not Sam. And so then he'd walk on set. He, and would, and he would do that off, off stage. Off, yes. Like, hey, um, you guys, uh, listen, I just want to talk to you about, uh, so what I'm thinking is for this scene that we're going to shoot in an hour or so, um, if, uh, you know what, actually, Sam, just run that line real quick. Sam? Jerry? Yeah. Right. Jerry? Uh, do you know what I mean? I, I've been to Brazil with your family. Like, you don't have to call me by my character name. And so I would, I would start calling him director. I'd be like, hey, director, what do you think about that performance? Which I think secretly he loves. He does love yeah. it. <laughs> it was all unique. They were all great. And I'll, I'll happily work for them anytime. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>